my goodness! Crazy old Catman Zack! What the hell? Crew! Crew! Hey, D. Lauren! Where you at? Hey, D. I seen you out there. Oh, man, I gotta take you back, baby. Take you back. Ooh, back. Back to the past. Let's try 3806. Oh, man. We've got some very special things to share. Yes! Yes. Oh, let's talk about fishing. Yeah, fishing. A very special poem here. Oh, I want to share this with you while the music's playing. This is Men's Act Video Special. Tears, too many words, eternal fears. Millions around, and the one at my side. Twice the ears for listening, and the twinkling, smiling eyes. Before them, I'm screaming and clearly see all hypnotized. They are but me, and I found too few friends, feeling so out of place. the end? My time of need?
from Huntington Bank. Yes, I do. Seems they're in bed with straight talk somehow. Yes, I got both pride and disrespect yesterday at Huntington Bank out of one of the tellers, managers. Apparently somebody in the bank knows about me. Well, I went online today to mylife.com. Yeah, I looked my name up. Yeah, I got a negative 0.42 reputation score on the World Wide Web. <laughs> Yeah, wonder how that is, and I'm worth 499000 Yes, I want to know who's behind that, data gathering. Yes, it's time to start, and then, you know what? You can learn a lot about the whole by examining the very small. Start with the who is in charge of your bills and your accounts, who's in your bank account. It all starts with the money. That's right. They've been double-dicking my bank accounts for months. I've got three Harley Davidsons in a trash can here. All right? Everybody around me is hypnotized. No one will listen to my concerns and those that do hear me and validate me with their acknowledgments 
try to brush me off like some rot-toothed punk who's out smoking meth behind a woodshed. I've had it with getting kicked around. There's adult abuse and financial exploitation all across the board. I got video of somebody stealing grandma's car on Thanksgiving Day on my goddamn Mad Zach Radio fan club show. Anybody with half a brain out there functioning, please visit my blog site where I've been documenting it. Yes, this little poem I wrote here is for a friend of mine. Yeah, the clue's in the opening line. Write a letter for a dove. Yes. I am awake, surrounded by fools and demons and selfish, greedy people who can't wait for me to slip up somehow so they can take advantage of me, twist me around for my material gains, my financial gains. Try to disrupt my relationship, even. To take control of the woman in my existence. Paying the bills. The ones being financially exploited. Oh, I'm pissed. I'm talking about $100,000 a year. I'm getting brushed off by big shot attorneys. Right here in Lancaster, there's some kind of political scene I'm digging into now, starting a chamber of commerce, the bank. I want to know who's in charge of the bank, what their associations are around here, how that ties in with the big shot lawyers and the local restaurants and the stores I frequent, like Kroger, who's been lovingly scrutinizing in the recent past. Yeah, so my, my campaign to champion the little people and women and the children out there and to help educate some of these misguided men. We are in a very bad situation. It's an emergency. We have a nationwide mental health crisis. Everyone's out of goddamn mind. Hypnotized by all the shows and all the crap. You can't have a conversation with your closest friend sitting in the living room unless it's some conspiracy of getting dope out of the neighbor guy. Nobody's listening. They got three TVs on, one on the, one on the screen. They're watching the computer, playing on an iPad and on the phone at the same time. And corporate America's laughing at Mad Zach, trying to find his way out of a fucking paper bag they created. Oh, I'm pissed. Where in the hell's Matthew McConaughey, statesman? I need some statesmen. I need some statesmen, some people who'd want to get beyond the, oh, who's the Democrat in the room here? Let's fight with them first. Or who's a Republican? Ah, oh, you're just a Republican. Let's grow up and get behind the name calling and the derogatives. All this bullshit. Nielsen media ratings, the TV, the institution of the TV is a normality in everybody's life. This world we're living in, this new forest they've created in society, collectively, has created a whole set of circumstances to which no one is armed to defend themselves against. Everybody needs to know what the poison ivy looks like. Well, God damn it, I found all kinds of that shit. And I've got nothing. I've got no capital. I have no fucking people behind me to push this. Everything that's getting robbed from me. I've got, I'm investing all my time trying to get as much controversy out there as I can stir up to get attention to my work. Yes, it's for a reason. It's for good. I would love to make a decent living, but I'm not beating people down for money. And that's where it brings in the demon into the fucking ring. I'm fighting capitalists. I'm fighting my very bank. Some people inside are smiling at me for trying. I'm laughing because this is impossible. But I will not go to the grave not having tried to put a fire out for my fucking kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm nowhere near my wit's end. Oh, I've got lots of ideas. Yes. Don't forget about my body bag raft. Human bodies splashed together with grapevines and float away from this mess after they ferment for a few days with their anuses and mouths plaque with clay, of course. Learn that from the bears. Oh, shit. Yes. So. Straight Talk's been screwing me. I called Straight Talk five times. Got all kinds of messages. So the argument at the bank, shut the hell up. I'll get to you when I'm asking. The bank 
As they, oh yeah, see, before they reversed the charges, oh, Mr. Polk, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, yeah, Huntington. Oh, they're very cordial and responsive, as they should be, seems how I employ them. As my entrustees to care for my money. Yes, I employ them, that means they work for me. I'm not consuming a product they're squeezing out of their proverbial tit. Let's all get this into perspective. Everybody's hypnotized. They're going to shoot me or harm me or retaliate against me for these things I'm saying. Obviously, anyone with a half a brain can clearly see that. This is exactly why people invent pen names. So they can hide behind things and preserve the existence of their bloodline. Their foundation. That which they're trying to preserve with the wealth they're trying to earn. You're not generating wealth to buy the collector's cans at fucking Budweiser's. You're generating wealth to care for your foundation, your seed, your bloodline, your future. You're building your kids. The holy grails, of, you can hawk that for beer money. It's not about the goddamn grail. It's about the shit you put inside it. Your foundation, your savings, your intelligence, how to can stuff, how to make leather, how to fish. Speaking of, there are you, you're nothing but a great big fat big mouth bass. Out there, swimming around in a lake all toxified with alcohol and drugs and fucking television manipulation. And they're catch and release all day long with you, milking your money out. Yeah, the, remember the free samples and next thing you know you got $60 charges on your account every month? Corporate America's behind it. That's why they have corporate attorneys, so they can redesign the rules and laws and manipulate the game of life. It's a chess game. All these things are chess games. And... When you buy into all the stuff they fostered into your normal, routine, everyday, institutionalized lives, you have no time afforded to keep your paperwork taxes backed up seven years. You have no time to see if you're being overcharged for your electricity use or your water use, indicating that the neighbors are stealing your water and electricity. You have no time to tell that, you know, your savings account that you created for your granddaughter is actually just a covert account that her mother's using to $1,000, $1,200 a month in fucking digital services fees and methamphetamines. I need to seize control of these kids and this grandmother. I need somebody to step in with emergency custody instantly. I've got all kinds of wars, and I got I got a big sharp axe. I'm a freaking grindstone. Yeah, sharpening the axes of the voices of men. Where's the men? Shut the damn ball game off. Every woman's got a pair of tits. Keep that in mind. Yeah, and they're all the same. They just vary in color and size. It's just like potato chips. Appreciate it for what it is. It's a garden. You can make it beautiful. You trim it up and care for it and love it. That's how a rose becomes to have no thorns. Why do you think so many women and children are crying themselves to sleep at night? Because men have been sold ego. Ego's for sale. Everybody wants to be like Mike. Yeah, the latest catchphrase. And you're missing the real guy with the real thing to say. Because he's, you know, he looks like maybe he's a sissy. He ain't that big. Let's see if we can get him to play football. Maybe hurt him on the field. Break his neck. I played head games with all you so-called men out there. I'm Captain Mad Zack for a goddamn reason. And I may have nothing. But I will be heard. And I will go to my grave with my voice left ringing. And my children honoring and proud of me. This is all to get my family back, my foundation. And everybody's hopes and dreams should be very similar. If they're not, you should disassociate with them immediately. Yeah, this is a direct order to my crew. And then you go back to April 26th, I will light a fire in the hearts of all men. I don't know where all this stuff come from. I'm a pearl in life's oyster. Oh, yeah, functioning something very powerful. I don't even know what, but I can't wait to see what comes next. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people out there can't wait to either. Yeah, because I'm very thrilling. Might want to save, you know, throwing that $6.99 away 
for that six pack of beer, that little, that little corn dog or that, you know, that math, you know, the taking care of your kids, for instance, save that and buy a copy of my book. Yeah. It's getting five star views. Yeah. And there's a reason why you're having time, having a hard time seeing some of my video content and things like that. Oh yes. Peace, love, you know, who dares to care. Yeah. Littlest dog in a fight. All these big tough guys sitting around. Nobody wants to get involved. Yeah, hey, can you help me uh, get my mom in the, in the car so I can take her to the hospital? You know, it's kind of an emergency. Oh, you're going to have to call the squad. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I got squad, all right. <laughs> some, some of them squat. Yeah, when they pee. Oh, I can't wait to watch them take a turn. piss them in your face. Ah, it's going to be so funny. I'm putting on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big, big sensation.